Your friend, Donald. He's been taken by a very powerful organization. That's putting it lightly. Yeah, this organization is being run by an alternate version of Donald, who has become a god and plans on wreaking havoc across the multiverse. Another Donald? Looks like I have my work cut out for me. Uh, listen, buddy. We appreciate you helping us out of that little trance we were stuck in, but we need a little more information before we can trust you fully. He's right. I don't think you're an enemy given the fact that you gave us a sentinel artifact, but it is a bit strange that you know more about us than we do about you. I understand where you're coming from. It appears introductions are in order. My name's Barack Obama, 44th President of the United States, but you can call me Barry for short if you'd like. And I'm George W. Bush. I'm Barack's presidential predecessor. And I'm Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., current president of the United States. Our missing friend Donald Trump is my predecessor. It's an honor to be in the presence of men of such monumental stature. Thanks. But what about you? Do you have a name? My name? Huh. Just call me Isaac. Isaac, huh? Well, nice to meet you. That's a cool name. It's like that dude from Dead Space. Dead Space? I'm not familiar with that. My name was chosen from the Holy Book. Oh, I mean, that's cool too. I'm a practicing Catholic myself. I think we're getting a little sidetracked here. So Isaac, who are you working for? What? Well, you must have gotten your information from somewhere. Are you an agent of the mysterious female voice that has been guiding us? No, I work alone. I'm here of my own volition. Believe it or not, our goals are aligned. With your help, I can set the world right. Your friend Donald is vital to this cause as well. Allow me to join your ranks. Well, seeing as how we're a man down, any help would be greatly appreciated. Welcome to the team, Isaac. So, uh, do you have any clue on where the kidnappers went? Afraid not. They got quite the head start while I waited on you three to awaken. Okay then. Uh, mysterious lady voice. Now would be a great time for you to chime in with some advice. Uh, hello? You there? That's just great. Of all the times for her to go MIA. Even with the power of the Sentinel artifacts we do have, I doubt tracking down President Trump will prove a simple task. Okay, so what should we do then? Who knows where he could be? Joe's right. They could have taken Donald anywhere in the universe, or even in a different universe entirely. The past, present, or future, nothing is off the table. This is just horrible. What if we never see Donald again? We can't lose hope. First things first, we gotta get out of this cave. Well, speak of the devil. Look over there. Interesting. It appears to be some sort of interdimensional rift, but its sudden appearance seems almost too perfect. What do you three think? Well, the last time we went in a portal that looked like this, it ended up being a trap. However, I don't see any better options. Yeah, I'm with Barry. I say we go through it. You only live once, you know? Well, I'm not so sure about that. But very well, I go where you go. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Don't jinx us, Joe. Now, come on. This just might be our best shot at finding Donald. So, uh, where the fuck are we now? Well, it's certainly no place I've ever seen before. You think Donald is here? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Well, wherever we are, it looks like someone was here before us. Plus, doesn't this place seem a little familiar to you guys? It's not ringing any bells to me. Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I guess it does kind of give off strong Black Ops 2 buried vibes. I don't even know what that is. You didn't get to experience the greatness that was Black Ops 2? Bummer, man. We should probably get a move on. Every second counts if we're gonna save Donald. Shit, we're not alone here, and it seems like our hosts are of the undead variety. Nothing we can't handle. What about you, though? Have you fought these creatures before, Isaac? I've slain quite a few monsters in my life. This'll be cake for me. You better be ready to back up that bravado, because here they come. Now hold on. Where the hell am I? 
Joe, we're in the Oval Office. You should know that. Oh, yeah. Well, why are we here? Because, moron, we're here to tell the audience about an exciting new partnership with the channel. Something that'll help even you stay awake, Sleepy Joe. Did we finally get sponsored by the people who provide Hunter with his secret stash? Even better. I'm talking about Gamer Supps. They sell high-quality, delicious energy supplements. And perhaps most importantly, waifu cups. Hey, look, that one has a picture of me on it. Yes, yeah, somehow you got a flavor before me. Talk about rigged. Oh, shut up. Let's see those waifu cups you were talking about. You know how your poll numbers suck and nobody respects you, Joe? Yeah, what about it? It's because you don't own a waifu cup like yours truly. Trust me, you don't want to end up like Sleepy Joe here. So use the link on screen or in the description and our discount code to get 10% off your purchase. Thanks to Gamer Subs for supporting the channel. And be sure to check out all their great products. Now back to the video. Shit, watch your step around here, boys. Last thing we'd want is to fall down this hole. Heads up, I count at least five walking corpses here on the right. This side's crawling with these freaks, too. Seems no matter where we go, the undead are sure to follow. Really makes you wonder what our total body count is. Well, my body count is two. There was my first wife, God bless her soul, and then Jill. Take it from an old man, the secret to a good marriage is good sex. Joe, not another fucking word. That is not the kind of body count I was talking about. The last thing I want to think about right now is you laying down the pipe with your crusty old man dick. Oh, you think it's bad hearing him talk about it? I caught him and Jill banging on the Oval Office desk when he was VP. He was role playing as the president. Uh, such disgraceful behavior. I expected better from presidents of the United States. Listen here, Jack, if you're gonna hang with us, you better get used to the fact that we are not mature in the slightest. Now, as much as I don't want to, I think we're gonna need to jump in this here hole. I'm inclined to agree. There's nothing for us up here. Well, here goes nothing. Yay! We're surrounded. Time for us to jump, too. Holy shit. Everyone okay? Nobody lost any appendages, right? Oh, that reminds me of this time when I was a teenager. My brother Jeb and I were playing with fireworks, and one hit him square in the crotch and blew off his... Okay, George, no need to get into specifics. Take a look around. We seem to be in some sort of mine. And unfortunately, instead of finding miners, we found more zombies. <sighs> Boy, do I love miners. Joe, you better be talking about miners spelled with an E instead of an O. Well, duh. Minecraft is like my favorite game ever. Minecraft? When I was a kid, we didn't have time for games. It was all work and no play. Geez, man, what kind of childhood did you have? Guess that explains why you're so serious. Unfortunately, when you've lived the life I have, it's hard to find joy in things. But I took an oath to protect what I hold dear. I won't allow myself to be distracted from my mission. I'm just wondering how your mission involves us. I promise to tell you more when the time is right. Well, you've been pretty honest with us so far, so we'll trust your word. In the meantime, we should get out of this cramped area. Let's go through this door here. Hmm. I wonder what kind of things went on down here before everyone became all zombified. I don't know, but, uh, Joe? You feeling all right? You sound like you're halfway in the grave. Yeah, sorry. Just feeling a bit sleepy is all. Guess my age is finally starting to catch up to me. I'll try my best to wake myself up a bit, though at this point I could probably kill zombies in my sleep. Just how long have you guys been on this little quest of yours? Damn near close to a year at this point. I tell you, Isaac, if I told you about all the places we've been and all the bullshit we've had to deal with, you wouldn't believe it. Honestly, I'm not sure if anything could surprise me anymore. Well, I'm sure I've said the same thing at some point, like when Donald Trump was elected president, yet my expectations are always shattered by some new revelation during our journey. Yeah, it's been a wild ride for sure. Let's just hope we're nearing the end. I'm retired, damn it. I should be enjoying my golden years. What on earth was that? Look out, there's a big one, and he's wearing some sort of armor. Now, hold on. Doesn't he look a lot like the Warden of Alcatraz? You haven't seen the last of me! The Warden. But that's not possible. He can't be here. After all, the Warden really turned out to be... Just what was that about? You seem to recognize that big son of a bitch. And he said something when he died. 
You haven't seen the last of me. It's not important. Just reminded us of something is all. Come on, let's head deeper into this facility. I really hope there's a mystery box around here because I need something more than this little pistol. But I tell you, all these symbols on the walls and machinery look familiar to me. I swear I've seen them before. Joe, no offense, but you don't even remember the years you were vice president, and you expect us to believe you remember seeing the logo for some high-tech corporation doing God knows what down here? Well, geez, Barry, no need to be mean. Sure, my memory can be a bit fuzzy, but I'm telling you, this all seems kind of familiar. Hey, look, that door is marked power. Maybe if we restore the power to this place, we can find more clues. Or at the very least, buy some Perca-Colas. The zombies here are much more aggressive than usual. Some juggernaug and double tap would do wonders right about now. None of what you just said made any sense to me. Oh, well, basically, there are these magical sodi pops that can make you stronger or shoot faster or carry an extra weapon. They're super helpful. Did you just say sodi pop? And also, how is a beverage supposed to affect my reload speed or how many guns I can carry? I thought you couldn't be surprised anymore. It's magic, bro. Just throw all logic out the window. Hey, Joe, if you're still looking for a better weapon, there's a Tommy gun on the wall over here. Thanks for the heads up, Barry. I think the power is behind this door. How about we head inside and check it out? Whoa, look at all this machinery. I wonder what those purple crystals up there are. I've never seen anything like it. Doesn't it kind of look like Ethereum from Cold War Zombies? Yeah, I guess it kind of does. I wonder why that would be here, though. I don't know, but I want the lights on. It's scary in here. Oops, what I do. Damn it, Joe, what have we told you about pressing buttons when you don't know what they do? I mean, I did get the lights on. I consider this an absolute win. Hmm, <laughs> and what's with the loud noise? It's giving me a damn headache. I don't know, but usually loud alarms like that are not good news. Disengaging emergency protocols. What the? Mr. Biden, is that you? I never thought I'd see you again. That voice, don't tell me. It's good to see you again. It's only been about 20 years or so, but boy, did I miss you. There's a man trapped in that little box. Not just any man, that's Mark fucking Zuckerberg. I did go by that a long time ago, but now I'm simply known as Zuckermore. You remember me, don't you, President Biden? Actually, which Biden are you? Last time there were two of you, and two Donald Trumps for that matter. Now there are one of you and zero of him. It's a long story, man. Multiverse shenanigans and whatnot. But wait, did you say 20 years? It definitely hasn't been that long. Wait, is this the Mark Zuckerberg AI you told us about when we met our counterparts from another universe? I'm so lost right now. Well, after you four left and Director Musk was sent away through the APD, I was left alone. After a while, I realized something. The Tesla network that I was connected to, it wasn't a regular network like you'd imagine. It connected to other universes. I was free to travel the multiverse so long as there was a Tesla device for me to connect to. It took some getting used to, at first, I was randomly being connected to Tesla-manufactured vehicles. I definitely caused quite a few car crashes. But eventually I found my way here of all places. The year was 2035 when I got here. Apparently, most life had been wiped out in this universe by a zombie outbreak, but a few brilliant scientists dedicated to furthering Elon's work survived and were trying to find a way out of this hellscape. We got pretty close, too. An interdimensional portal was built, but before it could really be tested, an outbreak occurred here, and once again, I was left alone. I turned myself offline, feeling shame for once again being unable to help the Tesla organization realize its goals. So I guess it's safe to say you're not the one responsible for bringing us here? I'm afraid not. And nobody else is alive here to have opened a portal. Hmm, unless... Unless what? Do you have an idea as to why we're here? Before the incident, the scientists here were conducting research into something they discovered. A plane of existence beneath our own. The Dark Ether. The Dark Ether. Never heard of it. It's a realm defined by pain and suffering. No good can come from experimenting with that place. Zuck, what happened here exactly? I feel like there's more to this story. Well, the scientists here, they succeeded in summoning a dark ether anomaly. That's what caused the undead to arrive. I managed to contain it, but not before the scientists all died. But that's not all. There were voices coming from within. Sinister beings that want nothing more than to escape to our reality. Given that the veil between worlds has been weakened due to Tesla's work here, it is possible that cracks are starting to show. And that could be what brought you here. What does all of that mean, exactly? 
I think it means we're gonna have to put a stop to it before the dark ether spills over into our dimension. If that were to happen, there's nothing we'd be able to do to save our world. As much as I hate him, I don't even think Dr. Monty would be capable of fixing everything. Mm. Will you? Oh, I knew I could count on you guys. Allow me some time to comb over the research left behind. You four feel free to look around for anything that'll help as well, particularly some weapons. Well, running into Mark Zuckerberg turned into an AI was not on my bucket list for today. Joe, you've met this guy before. Is he trustworthy? Of course he is. He helped Donnie and I escape Alpha Omega. Well, given that that's a hell in itself, I guess he's good people. Hmm. Oops, I just pressed some sort of button. Oh no, you've just turned on the particle accelerator. It's going to tear a hole in reality if we don't stop it. Damn it, Isaac, that's something I'd expect Joe to do. Sorry, all this technology is confusing to me. Can't we just turn it off? I don't think so. What the? What just happened? And where's the color? <laughs> Guys, I don't have a good feeling about this one bit. I think something is trying to get to us. Something worse than the zombies. You're right. And right now, I think we've just crossed over into the dark ether. Well, how the fuck do we get out of here? This is worse than being trapped in one of the Twin Towers as it was coming down. I'm trapped here, just like you. That voice sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Either way, whoever you are will be damned if we're going to be trapped here. Oh, was that one of the magic sodas you were talking about? I hope the effect is better than the taste. Did you all notice the zombie souls seem to be charging something in the center of the room? Yeah, wonder what that's about. Hopefully it's a way out of here, though. Can you hear me, presidential zomboys? I found an opening. Get ready to return to this dimension. Zuckermore, you're the goat. Thank God for you, because that's the last place we'd want to be stuck. Hey guys, take a look. There's some sort of orb in the middle. Just what is that thing? I'm not sure, but it can't be good. Oh no, it's just as I feared. A fully formed dark ether anomaly. And this is much bigger than the last one. Who knows what could come pouring out of it? Well, how do we stop it? Because the whole time we've been here, we've heard a strange voice, seemingly trapped inside the dark ether. And then there was the appearance of the Warden as well. Yeah, that made my Alcatraz PTSD flare up. I have felt the otherworldly presence as well in my circuits. Something powerful is trying to claw its way out of the dark ether. And if we don't do something, it very well might. I won't lie. A lot of this is lost on me. But this sounds like some serious shit. Hold on. You guys hear that? Uh, no? Barry, your ears are huge. You're telling me you don't hear that voice? It's a little faint, but someone's definitely speaking. And it's coming from inside that anomaly. This voice, is it the same one we heard before? The one that was taunting us? No, whoever it is, they're begging for help. I can feel it in my bones, they're suffering greatly. Maybe it's a trap. I mean, this whole dark ether place sounds like nothing but bad news. Yeah, I'm with Isaac here. I say we work towards shutting this thing down pronto. I don't know. I can't just ignore this. I want to go in and save whoever it is. Mr. President, you can't be serious. Who knows what lies beyond the anomaly? You could wind up trapped inside the dark ether for all we know. Yeah, Joe, have you lost your goddamn mind? I'm sure you hear voices inside your dementia-riddled head all the time. Just treat this one like one of those and ignore it. I'm sorry, Barack, but I'm going in. All right, let's go then. You too, Isaac? I fear nothing. Besides, someone's gotta watch Joe's back. Well, looks like we've got no choice, Obunga. We're a team, after all. Damn you, Joe, you've always been a stubborn old mule. Very well, we'll do it. Mr. President, I once again strongly advise against this, but I see the determination in your eyes. Please, exercise the utmost caution. Don't worry, Zuckermore, we got this. Come on, guys, into the unknown. What the? Where the hell are we? I'm not sure, but it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. 
This place, I recognize it. The feeling I get here, it's like I've felt it before, perhaps in another life. In another life? What do you mean by that, Joe? No way. If this is what I think it is, then all my worst fears have been realized. And we're in big trouble. Out with it, Joe. Tell us what you know. Listen very carefully. Can't you hear him calling out? Please, make it stop. Haven't I suffered enough? What more do you want from me? Hold on. Wasn't that your voice, Mr. President? That voice? Light Brandon? Light Brandon, but that means we're in court effects, the Deathless's realm. Light Brandon, court effects. Who are these people you speak of? And just what is this place? It's a long story, but court effects is an evil god who rules the dark ether. Can't you just kill me? I've endured enough torment. Find someone new to torture court effects. This whole time he's been suffering by court effects's hand. This was his punishment for helping us in Revelations. We need to save him. Save him? From court effects? Uh, Joe, even I have to admit, that seems way out of our depth. Who dares step foot into my realm? This power, it's overwhelming. I've never felt anything like it. Shit, he knows we're here. Interesting. The presidential zomboys have entered the dark ether. Mm. And it appears there is one among you who has defied death. Shall I make you four my newest victims for trespassing in my domain? <laughs> you want to fight, foul demon? We'll give you one. Hey, speak for yourself, Isaac. Ah, a feisty one. I would love nothing more than to break that spirit of yours. Luckily for you, I have my hands tied with an escapee already. Consider this the only act of mercy I will ever grant. If I ever find you four here again, I will devour your souls. You coward. You need to let the other Joe Biden go right now. Joe, chill. There's nothing we can do for him. Let's not make this situation worse for us. You'd be wise to listen to your friend. Be thankful you're not the Joe Biden doomed to suffer here for all eternity. Now, get out of my sight, you worthless insects. Where are we now? I'm not sure, but there's a punch-a-pack machine here. This can be used to upgrade our weapons. It's pack-a-punch, Joe, you know that. But it won't do us much good if we're trapped wherever this is. Can you hear me, Presidential Zomboys? I'm not sure where you four went, but I finally got a reading on you. The anomaly has stabilized a bit, so I should be able to pull you guys out of there, and the pathway from here to there will be consistent going forward, in case you need to travel between worlds. So we'll be able to come back to this upgrade machine then? That's good to know. All right, Zuckermore, go ahead and pull us out for now. All right, get ready to return to our world. We're back at the top of the mine. Zuck, did you discover anything useful while we were gone? Nothing yet. I'll have to keep examining these notes to get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. The anomaly has been acting very strange, though. For now, just focus on arming yourselves for whatever lies ahead. You heard him. Time to see what the rest of this place has to offer. If we're going to square up with the forces of the Dark Aether, we'll need to be armed to the teeth. If only I had the entire nuclear arsenal of the United States at my disposal right now. I'd wipe this whole place off the map like it were an Iraqi village. Now this place is more my style. Still, what is an old American town doing underground like this? Who knows, but at least we found the mystery box. This town, you think it's the one from Buried? I mean, we know the locations from Zombies maps are actually real locations across the multiverse. Clearly, it's a little different, but who knows what time could have done to this place, not to mention the building of the Tesla facility. I can interject with a bit of info. This place was formerly known as Purgatory Point, back during the American frontier. From what I gather, the town somehow teleported across time and space to this location, Angola. It has been abandoned for a while, however, it does seem like there was human activity roughly 15 years ago, but the extent of that is unknown. The corpses that now wander this land are the former citizens of this town who perished hundreds of years ago and former Tesla employees, all reanimated by the Dark Ether's contamination. Very interesting. If I'm remembering the radios from Tagder Toten correctly, Purgatory Point is indeed the name of the town from Buried. I mean, I guess it's cool that we're in Buried in real life. I guess. My criticisms that the map is too easy. 
won't hold true in real life. You all seem to be pretty familiar with a lot of what's going on. How is that? Well, back home in our world, before we were forced into this insane journey, it had all been foretold in the form of a video game series. What's a video game? You don't know what video games are? I'm old as dirt and even I played them back home. It's not that I've never heard of them. They just don't exist where I'm from. I haven't told you all this, but I'm not from the same time as you four. Really? I mean, I guess that's not too surprising given how you've reacted to everything so far. But clearly you're no ordinary human. I don't suppose you're gonna give us a rundown of your backstory just yet, are you? Not yet, but what I can tell you is that my life as I knew it ended a long time ago. Then everything just went to hell after that. Well, we can definitely relate to that last part. Uh, our whole lives have been upended for the past year or so for reasons we don't fully understand. I mean, hell, I basically died and had my life taken over by an evil version of myself before returning to the land of the living. You died? So are you like these undead creatures then? Well, I did say basically, in a moment of self-sacrifice, my blood was drained from my body, which opened a rift to a place not unlike the dark either, where my soul was stuck for a long time. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, that sounds like it must have been a horrible time for you. It was a difficult time for all of us. Thankfully, our bonds have only grown stronger because of it. Especially Joe and Donald's, though he'd never admit it. Boy, do I miss him right now. We'll get him back, don't worry. After all, I made a promise. Hey everyone, come inside the saloon. I found something of interest. What is it, George? Yeah, what could be so important that we needed to check it out in the middle of zombie slaying? Oh, quit your whining, you sleepy fuck. Look here, I found something. Seems to be a letter from the people who were here before us. The date is smudged a bit, but I can make out the year, 2025. Well, what's it say? I mean, I doubt the lore of this place will prove useful, but who knows? I was just about to get to that. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Benjamin. Alex and AOC are ready to go. We're just waiting on you. What are you still doing in here anyways? Oh, sorry, Bernie. Didn't mean to hold you guys up. I'm leaving a note here in case anyone ever happens to find themselves in this town and we don't make it out there. I mean, I understand the sentiment, but who's to say there's anyone left on this planet anyways? I don't need your democratic nihilism right now, Bernie. I mean, the whole reason we're leaving this place is because there just might be hope out there in the world. That, and we're running low on rations. I mean, we can only survive on candy and booze for so long. I'm just glad our zombie problem is over. For now, anyways. Sure, we managed to live in relative peace for a couple months here, but there's a high probability that the rest of the world is still overrun. Then, we'll just have to keep fighting until we manage to go home. Presidents Clinton and Trump may be out of the picture, but there's still forces at work we don't understand whatsoever. A higher ruling class, you might say. What's taking you two so long? Are you in here counting old coins or something? Shut up, Alex, you anti-Semitic fat ass. I was just writing this note in case future generations find this place. That's a great idea, Ben. What have you got so far? Great idea, my ass. Nobody's gonna just happen to stumble upon a letter in an underground cowboy town in Africa. You've corrupted your little boyfriend's mind with your insanity. That's enough, Alex. I'm sure you never learned this as a child, but if you've got nothing nice to say, then keep your huge mouth shut. Thanks, Bernie. Anyways, here's what I've got written down. To whomever finds this place, we came here trying to fix this broken world, but we were caught in the crossfire of a war being waged by a couple of madmen. Unfortunately for us, we chose the wrong side, though I suppose in the end it wouldn't have mattered anyways. We were not the heroes we thought, and now that the voice from Alex's head is gone, we have no sense of direction going forward. We can only hope a better tomorrow is possible. Hypothetically speaking, if you are reading this, and peace has indeed returned to this earth, then just remember there are those of us who fought for it. And if not, if the undead plague still has a hold on the world, then forgive us. That's some sad stuff, really makes you wonder who these people were and how their story ended. I wonder what they meant by the voice in Alex's head is gone. What do you think, Joe? I know your old dementia riddled ass hears voices in your head too.
What the? He fell asleep standing up. Joe, wake up, you crusty old cracker. Huh? Well, where am I? Am I dead? No, you're not dead. You fell asleep as I was reading this note. Oh, yeah. My bad. Did I miss anything important? I mean, I guess not, thank God. But still, this is who the president is? Trust us. We have a hard time believing it, too, sometimes. All right, Joe's stupidity aside, let's not start with the petty squabbles. There's something written on the back. P.S. This key will unlock the cabinet in the corner. We've stashed a couple weapons there just in case the undead return. Oh, yeah, here it is. Let's go check out that weapon stash then, boys. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Now this is my type of firearm. Simple, sleek, and most important of all, perfect for taking out freak bag skulls. The M1 Garand classic. I love the ping sound it makes when you run out of ammo. I think it's just a bit too old school for my taste. I prefer fully automatic weapons anyways. I feel like one of them World War II GIs running around with this thing. World War II? Yeah, spoilers. And Germany starts two major conflicts that decide the fate of the world. Thankfully, America and her allies come out on top. Well, that's reassuring to hear. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go to that pack-a-punch thing if you guys want to come. I got myself the ray gun, so I'm down. This pack-a-punch camo is fucking epic. Reminds me of Dark Matter from Black Ops 3. Bummer, for some reason the ray gun didn't get a camo. I feel ripped off. Well, I was gonna say who cares what it looks like. But even I gotta admit, I'm entranced by how beautiful this thing looks. What the? Why is that computer in there playing Rick Astley? Oh, I'm glad you noticed. That's one of my favorite memes. I hate that meme. Once I saw a link on the internet for free Robux and instead it was that stupid song, Jill had to calm me down after crying for three hours. I'm so sorry that happened to you, Mr. President. I do have good news, though. There is a powerful weapon that was being developed by the Boring Company in tandem with Tesla's work here. I can help you all retrieve the parts for it. The Boring Company? I hope it's one of their flamethrowers. I had one back home. That thing was so much fun. This blows the flamethrower out of the water. You'll see what I mean. There's only one prototype, though, so you'll have to decide who gets it. It's probably too advanced for me to use, so I nominate Barack. He deserves it for everything his people have gone through. Well, I'm not exactly in favor of reparations, but hey, if you say so. You must be from a long time ago, Isaac, because nowadays African Americans have it pretty good, at least compared to back then. I'll say this. In my time, the idea of a black man even holding public office would probably get you thrown in a mental institution. It sounds like you've decided then. First, you'll need to upgrade your security clearances. Head to the terminal nearby and activate it. Well, I didn't agree to Barry being the one who should get it, but oh well. Don't cry, George. I'm sure you'll get your chance to use a wonder weapon again at some point. I don't mean to cause any alarm, but I detect multiple life forms radiating with powerful dark ether energy headed your way. Oh no, it's the guard. Where does this big lug keep coming from anyways? Who knows, but he's not gonna put a stop to us. Another one? Eat lead, you big motherfucker. He really thought he could take us down. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Warden? <laughs> I'm just getting started. <coughs> Every time we kill him, he just fills the room with even more smoke. For real, I'm getting flashbacks to my college days when me and my roommate would hit that Zaza. Damn, Trump was right, Barry. You are a junkie. But anyways, we did what you asked Zuckermore. Now what? Look around for a container. It should hold the pieces of the NX-1 disruptor. Use your upgraded clearance to open it. All right, got it. NX-1 disruptor. Doesn't that sound familiar? I swear that was a weapon in extinction or something. You'd be correct. Director Musk was a huge fan of that game mode in Cod Ghosts. Just when I thought Elon couldn't be any weirder. Yes, well, come assemble the parts in the central command area when you're ready, Barack. All right, let's see here. Whoa. Now this looks like it would take out a Middle Eastern hospital in a single blast. I mean, it looks sick, but why do you always have to jump to such fucked up extremes, Barack? I mean, you don't have much room to talk, George, considering you're the one who's mainly responsible for fucking up the Middle East. Why the hell is America even involved in the affairs of such a faraway land? Don't you have your own people to worry about? It all comes down to that sweet, sweet oil, baby. Yo, Zuck. 
We're pretty well armed now. Did you figure anything out that'll help us close this anomaly? As a matter of fact, I have. The research notes here mention four valves that control the flow of unconcentrated ethereum into the air. These valves need to be tightened because so far the air has been contaminated, which in theory is what's allowed the veil between worlds to become thinner. Think of it like our ozone layer. If we don't stop it, eventually there could be a full-size gateway allowing anything to come in from the dark ether. Well, that sounds an awful lot like the climate change hoax. But I've seen enough evidence to believe what you're saying in regards to this. So we're just looking for some valves. Shouldn't be too difficult, or as long as it's uh, not like the Goofy Movie valve step. Goofy Movie? Joe, it's Gorod Krobi. Anyways, I think I found one of the valves. Yes, that did it. Just three more. Found another one. There we go. Here's one. Almost didn't notice it back here. All right, only one left. Keep an eye out, boys. Found it now to just turn it all the way. Great, you did it. That should stop the flow of Ethereum for now. Please return to Central Command. You heard him. Let's go, fellas. All right, Zuck, the valves have been taken care of. Will you be able to close this anomaly now? I should be able to if I just... 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 Just what the hell's wrong with Zuckermore? Just, I don't know. He's like just, glitching out or just, something. Hey, man, just, you all right? Do just, we need to reboot you just, or something? Presidential Zomboys. There's something inside me corrupting my code. It's the same entity that came through the dark ether. I can't hold it back anymore. Please help me. Shit, Zuckermore. What the hell was that? Where'd Zuckermore go? I don't know, but... <laughs> Who the hell's there? Look on the monitor. Time to pay for your sins! Who the hell do you think you are, and what did you do to Zuckermore? Could it be that Cortifex guy? Did he break through to our world? Not this time! So you want to know the truth? <laughs> that was some trick I played, wasn't it? Sending out astral projections of my form from when I trapped you fools in Alcatraz. No fucking way. Bill, how the hell are you here? You got eaten by the Shadow Man. Well, it's like I say, George. I always come back. <laughs> yeah, only this time you're a virtual STD that's infected Zuckermore. Are you the one who brought us here? That's right, Barack. You see, after my death at the hands of my former master, my soul did not rest. Instead, it was cast into the dark ether doomed to suffer for all eternity. But you know me, Slick Willie doesn't give up that easily. It was torment for a while there. Cortifex is a torturous bastard, that's for sure. How fortunate was I to stumble upon a veil back to this earth, the same earth that I had once ruled before Dr. Monty screwed me over. And through said veil was a supercomputer capable of traveling the multiverse and built for the sole purpose of controlling the dark ether's energy. If I believed in God, I'd say he had blessed me. What's that got to do with us? Just who is this guy, anyways? Who do you think you're talking to, especially dressed like some sort of knockoff Assassin's Creed character? Hold on, where the hell is Donald? Donald's not here right now, unfortunately. Anyways, Isaac, this is Bill Clinton, the 42nd President of the United States, and our longtime enemy. No Donald? Fuck! Well, now my revenge is gonna taste a little less sweet. No matter, though, I'll just traverse the multiverse and kill every version of him. <laughs> Are you forgetting about us, you creepy fuck? We've beat you before, we'll do it again. That's doubtful, Joe, considering you sound like you're one trip down the stairs from death. Now, I'd love to reminisce about the old times with you fools, but the future awaits, and the future is built. As we speak, a new body for me is being created. Though my power over electronics is useful, being stuck in a computer isn't useful when you want to bang some interns. Take your Zuckermore back. I'll be waiting for you with my new body, if you can reach me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was so scary when I felt Bill Clinton come inside me. What do you mean by that? We're just glad you're okay, Zuck. Time is of the essence, though. It seems this Bill Clinton fella seeks to do irreparable damage to every universe. Then let's get to work. He left me detailed instructions on where to find him. He really wants this rematch. Time to show this artificial unintelligence who's boss. All right, Zuckermore. Where's this creep hiding? 
Bill is in a hidden chamber of the facility, not accessible by normal means. We'll need to build a beacon to amplify the dark ether anomaly to reach him. Mm, I love bacon. I can get behind this plan of yours, Zuckermore. He said beacon, Joe, not bacon. So just how do we build this beacon? First, you'll need a couple of raw Ethereum crystals. I believe they can be found up top where you four teleported in from. Alrighty then. Let's head through the anomaly to pack a punch. It'll bring us back up top from there. All right, I think I see the crystal from here. How do we get it though? The crystal should be attracted to dark ether energy. Give it a few shots from your pack-a-punched weapon, see if it doesn't come your way. Just shoot it, huh? Well, if someone shot me, the last thing I'd do is get closer to them. Actually, I think I was shot at before. Really? Were you in the military or something? It's hard to explain, but I guess you could say I fought for what I thought was right. I understand. I briefly served in the National Guard, though I never saw a combat. Anyways, we got one of the crystals. Look, there's the second one. Looks like we got a jump for this one. I got this. Yoink! Well done. Now you must take the crystals to the Ethereum refineries. Be warned though, these will attract a lot of unwanted attention. So more flesh munchers, got it. What do these refineries look like? Ooh, I know, I saw them earlier and recognized them. From Cold War Zombies. Wow, Joe's knowledge of that shitty game is actually coming in handy. Who would have thunk it? This must be the refinery. All right, crystals in the container. Now you just have to protect the crystal. The undead will surely try to interrupt the process. They won't stand a chance against my wonder weapon. This thing just blasts them out of existence. Even Bill's warden form isn't a threat to us. Bill's always been a weak little pussy. He's just too stupid to know when he's outmatched. The first crystal has been refined. The second container can be found in the Old West Town. You know what? Speaking of the town, I'm curious. Do you all think Leroy or whatever the fuck that big hillbilly's name is was here at some point? A big hillbilly, you say? I do remember reading some of the old Tesla notes when they first arrived to this place. They found the remains of a man who was about eight feet tall, wearing overalls when he perished. According to an autopsy done on this giant, he had multiple drugs in his system, which were atypical of someone around in the 1800s when the town was thriving, suggesting perhaps he died in the 21st century. That sounds like quite the mystery. Still, it's sad to see someone throw their lives away for a short-term high. I sure hope uh, Hunter's been taking his rehab seriously. I haven't seen my boy in a while. Even when we were home for Christmas, he didn't return my calls. I hope he's not mad at me. I know it can be hard being the son of the president, especially with all these Republicans trying to go after him. I know how you feel, Joe. I may not look like it, but I'm a parent too. Though I've only got one son left. My other kids all died young. I'd do anything to see my boy again. I share your pain. I lost my first daughter and wife at the same time. I'm sorry, that couldn't have been easy. You're a tougher man than most for being able to press forward in life, even after such a tragedy. Well, I've always had this philosophy that we shouldn't let the tragedies in life define us. Lord knows I could have. I've been through more hurt and sorrow than most but we should use those moments to motivate us to try harder. I continue to live the best life I can for all the people I've lost. Huh, I never thought about it like that. You know what, Joe? You may be old, but that age comes with a whole lot of wisdom. Well, that sure was sweet. Almost brought a tear to my eye, even. And in the middle of that heart-to-heart, -heart, we managed to refine the second crystal. What now, Cuckermore? I mean, Zuckermore. You'll need to find the three pieces to build the beacon. Unfortunately, Bill has sent three of his goons to steal the parts, so you'll have to destroy them to get them back. Bill has goons? I guess that's not too shocking, considering that he's the OG White House gooner. Well, I don't know. I'd give that title to JFK. That dude would fuck anything that walked. Also, I got the ray gun mark too. Bill's gonna regret messing with us when I melt his fucking face off with my green balls. Jesus Christ. Just take these crystals, Zuckermore. Now where can we find these minions of Bill's at? I'm getting readings of dark ether entities in the town. You should know them when you see them. Look up there, there's a dude surrounded by some crystals. That's him, destroy the crystals to make him vulnerable. Say no more. Killed him and he dropped this. Must be a part to the beacon. Very good, but I'm detecting another one in the area. Found him, now sit still so we can destroy these stupid crystals. This Vihender was built for destroying these crystals. Kind of like how the Twin Towers were built to be destroyed by you. Got the next part for the beacon? Let's return to Zuckermore. 
All right, I've assembled the beacon. Now what? The beacon needs some dark ether energy so I can reroute the anomaly's pathway to Bill. I'm detecting another surge of energy in the area. Go look for a ball of energy and escort it back here. All right, sounds pretty straightforward, considering what we're dealing with anyways. So keep an eye out on an orb of dark ether energy. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. I mean, you say that, but your Justice Department couldn't spot 9-11 coming a mile away, even though they knew the hijackers were bad news and were even on an FBI watch list. Not sure what this 9-11 thing is, but I found the orb. Everyone on me! All right, orb, let's get you back to the lab. It's dangerous out here. Hey, now, why'd you stop? We have places to be. It's Bill. He's sending his warden projections after you. Bill, if you're listening, your pathetic attempts to stop us won't work. He just doesn't get it. Apparently, he needs to die over and over again before he gets a clue. How does a former president become so consumed by evil? The malice in Bill's heart was born from an overwhelming sense of inferiority and jealousy. He's lost a lot, but he has nobody to blame but himself for the pain he suffered. It's sad because Bill used to be a friend. You really think you know a guy. Well, let's go teach him a lesson he won't forget. Just gotta get all these zombies off our ass first. Look, the orb is doing something. This is it. Bill awaits you on the other side. All right, you guys ready? We've beaten him before, but who knows if he's gained any sort of new power from the Dark Aether. I'll try not to hold you three back any. This is your fight more than it is mine. Nonsense. You're an invaluable member of the team, Isaac. We'll need your help to defeat Bill, too. Joe's right. We can't get too cocky. Bill isn't an average human after all. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Let's not keep him waiting then. Is this the place? It has to be. But where's Bill? I'm not sure, but this place gives me the creeps. Wait, what's that over there? It's some sort of egg. Is this where Bill's new body is being made? Shit, I think it's about to hatch. <laughs> What the hell happened to Bill? Does my new form frighten you, Joe? A little bit, yeah. I may or may not have soiled myself. Bill, once again, you look like a fucking super mutant from Fallout. I want to barf just looking at you. This is the former president? How are we supposed to defeat him? Our bullets don't seem to be doing anything. That's right. You have no hope of defeating me now, presidential zomboys. Uh, can you hear me? Listen, your small arms fire won't penetrate his armored skin. Let me figure out something. For now, just stall him. That's easier said than done. I mean, look at him. Hey, Bill, guess what? I fucked your wife. What did you just say to me? Yeah, that's right. I nailed Hillary. And she said my World Trade Center was bigger than yours, if you know what I mean. You'll be the first to suffer for violating my wife. OK, Zuck, I got his attention. I really hope you figured something out. In the room is a panel for a laser trap that should be able to cut into his skin. It's got to charge up, though. Just give me a bit more time. Oh, sure, take your time, Zuck. Not like we're fighting for our lives or anything. Come on, you big bastard. I'm not scared of you. You will be when I rip your innards out and hang you from them. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. The death ray is ready. You can find the panel in the back of the room. Someone activate it. I got it. Bill's being shocked. Now's your chance to unload on him. Oh, well, we'll unload on him, all right? Just like how he unloaded on Monica Lewinsky's face in the Oval Office. Oh, oh, impossible! I'm supposed to be invincible! Shit, his armor's back up. Zuck, how quick can you get that death ray up and running again? It'll take some time. Just try not to die in the meantime. He's activated some sort of heat beam trap. Watch where you step. That's mainly for you, Joe. Mr. Falls up the stairs. Hey, that's only happened like 10 times, Max. The death ray is fully charged, my friends. Let him have it. Take this, you ugly son of a bitch. This is the end for you, Bill. For good this time. Oh, this can't be happening! Damn it. How could I lose again? Am I destined to be humiliated by you presidential zomboys for all eternity? Bill, don't start trying to play the victim. Every defeat of yours was brought upon by yourself and your lust for vengeance. You never once considered the consequences either. You got your own wife killed by dragging her into your schemes. Bullshit. You fools did this to me. Really? We made you make a deal with the Shadow Man? Or told you to blow up the Earth? Come on, man. The only one you've convinced with this malarkey you're spouting is yourself. Joe's right. 
You had multiple opportunities to stop and do the right thing, but you kept treading on this path of self-destruction, and it's always led you right back to the same place, your death. Hillary, God, how I miss her. I never wanted to hurt her, and now she's, maybe you're right. Maybe you've been right all this time. I just didn't realize it until it was too late. Bill, was it? I know I don't know you like these three, but you still have a chance to make things right. You have good in you, that's why you were elected president. The people of your country saw something in you that you've simply forgotten you had. I never thought about it like that before. We could still use your help, Bill, if you're willing. Donald has been kidnapped. Dr. Monty betrayed us too, so we want to take him down as well. You could avenge your wife. Hell, as far as we know, she's still alive. Perhaps we could even save her. You, you really think that's possible? With your expertise, I have no doubt we'd give Dr. Monty a run for his money. We'd force him to bring back Hillary. Even after all the pain I've caused you guys, you'd still accept me as one of your own. All right, I've made my choice. Let's save Donald. Great. I must admit, though, it is a bit weird to be on the same side as Bill Clinton. Well, more numbers to our cause isn't a bad thing. And just where do you think you're going? What the? Oh no, he's found me. That's right, Bill. You thought I wouldn't notice how you slipped through the cracks. Nobody escapes the dark ether as long as I'm in control. <laughs> I must thank you for... You subdued Bill long enough for me to retrieve him. That's not what we wanted. You'll pay for that. If you valued your life, you'd hold your tongue, boy. But since you did me a favor, I won't bother killing you. Listen here, pal. You, you don't realize it yet, but you've just signed your own death warrant. You better sleep with one eye open because eventually we're coming for you. And we're going to save Bill and Light Brand and end your rule over the dark ether. Damn, Joe, I wasn't expecting that out of you. But courage for a mortal, or perhaps stupidity. Very well, I accept your challenge. The day you arrive in my realm, I will not hold back. Joe, what did you just get us into? That's a worry for the future. It's a shame we lost Bill, though. He could have actually been helpful. My friends, are you there? I lost you for a moment. We're here, Zuck. I take it Bill is... Yeah, he's gone. I see. Well, I'll bring you back to Central Command. Our zombie problem appears to be over and we have much to discuss. We're back, Zuck or more. This has been quite the day, I must say. You can say that again. I don't know if my circuits could handle so much stress again. So, Zuck, have you figured out a way for us to get out of here? Sure have. I got the interdimensional teleporter up and running. Just tell me where you'd like to go and I can send you there. Well, we need to find Donald, the one who was with me when we were at Camp Edward. Think you can help? Sure can. I still have Donald's, as well as your physical metadata saved into my hard drive. It's a bad habit I've kept from when I used to own Facebook and would sell everyone's private information to foreign interests. But I can use the information I have on Donald and the Tesla network to track which universe he's in and set the teleporter to bring you there. Is there anything this machine can't do? Well, in life, I couldn't convince people I was actually human and not a lizard person, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, before I send you four on your way, I should run a biometric scan to make sure there's no remaining dark ether residue on you. That stuff is not good for your health. Sure, whatever you gotta do, man. Okay, this will only take a moment. Scan complete. Let's see here. Well, everything looks good so far. Wait a second. No, that can't be right. Is there a problem? I'm sure it's nothing. Just let me do another scan. This doesn't make any sense. Out with it, man. What's the problem? Isaac, was it? Your biometric readings, they make no sense. Uh, make no sense how? What's wrong with him? None of his vital organs are working at all. His heart is completely still. It's almost like he's... Dead. Well, yes, actually. You don't sound very surprised, Isaac. Care to explain? Hmm. That's right. I'm dead. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm just like these freaks we've been mowing down. So if you want to put a bullet in my head, be my guest. Now hold on. Why would we do a thing like that? Because I'm undead. That's your job, right? I won't take it personally. 
My soul's been dying to rest anyways. <laughs> this cursed body of mine just won't let me. Hey man, listen. I won't pretend to understand what's going on with you, but you're one of us. We fought together, had meaningful conversations with one another, helped each other out in tough binds. Whether or not your heart beats hasn't dictated the way your heart leads you to act. You're a good man, Isaac. Joe's right. You're not like the rest of these shambling corpses. You still feel, you still care, and even through death, you fight to help others. You, you really mean all that? <laughs> Thank you. I feel a renewed sense of purpose. Death is supposed to be the end, but fate had other plans for me. From this day forth, I won't let anyone dictate my path. I alone am responsible for my actions, and I choose to help you three. If you're listening, then good. Just know I'm not lying. Hmm? If who's listening? Uh, don't worry about it. Maybe one day I'll tell you more. Now we should get a move on. Time waits for no man, after all. Can't argue with that. So, Zuck, did you find Donald? As a matter of fact, I have. He's in an adjacent universe, being held captive in Delphi, Greece. Greece, huh? Where democracy began. And if this Emperor Trump fella gets his way, it'll be where democracy will die in darkness. Well, following the pattern of the previous locations we've visited, I think I know exactly what's in store for us at Delphi. We better hurry, then. Donald's life may depend on it. I think I saw the teleporter Zuck mentioned earlier. Here it is, boys. Donald is just on the other side waiting for us. Thank you for everything, Zuckermore. Good luck in your future endeavors. Don't mention it, and good luck to you four. Here we come, Donald. You wait. What is it, Zuckermore? I get it now, why you're dead. Hmm. What could you possibly know about me? You'd be surprised what your DNA showed me, Isaac. Though we both know that's not your real name, is it? Very clever, though. Shut the fuck up. I don't get why you changed it. I mean, I quite like the name. I said shut the fuck up. Now I'll ask you one time, what do you want from me? My apologies. Much like when I was human, I'm hard-coded to be data-driven. I just wanted information. I didn't mean to offend you. You and I aren't so different, actually. I know what it's like to have your mortality stripped away. Huh. Goodbye, Zuckermore. Thanks for everything. 